I often have people on the videos comment and they're like, you know, you're so cheap and I can't believe you ripped these people off and you don't give them full asking price and all this and whatever. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. I thought you were all going to get to see Sophie today. But right before I turn this camera on, she went to the door and started scratching, so I let her out. So, hello everybody, welcome to Commonwealth Flipper, welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. Today's actually a Wednesday, you're going to see this video if all goes well on Friday. I usually take Wednesday off entirely, especially when I'm back teaching. It's a little bit too much to come in every night and do shipping and do a video. So I take Wednesday off and we put a video over there on the Commonwealth Picker channel instead of the Commonwealth Flipper channel. It's typically what I do. But I messed somebody's order up. I didn't mess it up. I sent them an order that had a flaw in it. And I wanted to come fix it today. And I'm like, yeah, just knock some of these sales out today. Finish the rest up tomorrow. And then combine Wednesday, Thursday, and put on a Friday video. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's take a look. Speaking of messing up an order, I had a slight flaw in this one. And a viewer saw it in a video that I did. I think maybe even on Instagram. It was Melissa, I think, was the name. And they asked about it. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll ship it to you. Sure. But it has one little problem. I don't even know if it's a problem or a, maybe I didn't tighten it enough. But it seemed like it would go in and out unless I was holding this down. And you see how it's... Can you hear that? It's just a little loose. Maybe I just need to tighten it a little bit more with those batteries. And I'm like, you know what? Sure. And I gave them a bit of a discount. And hopefully they get it figured out. It, it should work. I was playing it. It, it was working, so... At any rate, Melissa, it's headed your way. And let me know if you have any trouble with it. I'll definitely take care of it for you. And I did mess, I forgot to tell you about what I messed up. It was that Norman Rockwell, it was one of the Norman Rockwell prints that I've been selling off. And it was the Discovery one, the one where the kid finds the Santa Claus stuff in the bottom drawer of the dresser. And he was in shock, like, there's not really a Santa. This is really my dad dressing up. Or mom dressing up. I don't know. Hmm. We won't go there. At any rate... I sent one and they're like, hey, it's got a smudge in the in the white part, the border of it. And I thought I went through and took all of those out. But it wasn't it didn't show up in the picture because I have multiples of it. But I do remember a couple of having smudges, so that one got through quality control. So I want to come in here and ship that off to them as a uh, replacement. Next one is an eight track, so it's over here. Should be always come in here and I can't find the right ones. Queen. Is that Queen? No, nope, that's Blondie. Y'all probably know. I come over here so often. I'm running out. Here. Queen. There you go. Eight bucks. When I saw it, I'm like, yeah, that's a $10 one, but it's not. It's an $8 one. Not much money in them, but I sure like selling them. Next one is a Thane Flavor Wave. This, I think, is one of the last parts from this When in Doubt Parted Out item. I hear Sophie out there, y'all. Nope. One more to go. Here we go. Ten bucks, I think. Let's ship on this one. I think. I'll have to check it out. I don't even know why it's sold, to be honest with you. But it is sold. So I'm happy it's out of here finally. How you doing, girl? <laughs> she wanted out just a minute ago, and now she wants back in, apparently. Oh, you know what? I bet it is. I bet she wants back in the house. I let her out of here, and she can't get in the house because nobody's answering her uh, door scratches. All right. This is... I have two of these. Bought them at the unexpected jackpot sale which we haven't talked about in a while. I put it up here on the screen because I knew it was coming up. Here it is right here, the unexpected jackpot. And that was a great sale. I love that. If you're new to the channel, go over there and check that one out. Maybe I'll link it. Um, go check it out after you're done watching this video, of course. And they're just L.L. Bean slippers. If I recall from that video, there was a lady, you know, I often have people on the videos comment and they're like you know you're so cheap and i can't believe you ripped these people off and you don't give them full asking price and all this and whatever and you know so that occasionally happens but somebody at the sale was like man you got a great deal you shouldn't you know you shouldn't give them that for that deal i'm like oh thanks a lot appreciate it and i can't remember what i paid maybe i think they're maybe asking 10 bucks I paid five or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't going to pay 10. I mean, they sold for 20 plus shipping. So there's not a ton of money in it. 
but five sell it for 20 plus shipping seems like a pretty good deal and there was two of them so one listing two sales well one sale so far now if i have my days right this should have just come out on the other channel sitting on a storage auction gold mine and this was a throw-in he gave it to us i'm like man i wish you had like 50 of them because it sold for 24 dollars free shipping such an easy shipper first class it's going to be eight ounces i think yep there you go i think could get it in a box and probably the seven by four by two box with a little bit of padding and we can get it shipped out for right at eight ounces so we're gonna make like 15 i don't know maybe more than that profit on it so fees and shipping let's say four and four eight it's like 16 dollars profit on that right there it's pretty good i like that if i had like 50 of them we'd be in business Sold a couple of, I keep these in both inside the eBay cave and I keep them in here as well. I think, maybe I don't. I take it back. Where'd I put them? <laughs> it's not in the Mountain Man Treasure Cup. Here it is up here. I think I transferred them out of here. This is where I keep these right here. Sold for $8.94, I think, two of them. There you go. Not big money, but we sell them often. That reminds me of something here. The Ella Bean slippers and the Bash Fishing were both from the Unexpected Jackpot sale. And we were keeping track of that sale. So we're up to $1,442 minus $129 profit. That's profit after fees, after expenses on that great sale. So if you haven't seen that one, go over there and check it out. Speaking of keeping track of sales, I didn't write this one down. Nike Sasquatch Clubhead cover. It's in this top one here. Let me get it down. I can find it. Nike. Here it is. Did I find it right off the bat? Maybe it's just Dymo. Maybe it's not Sasquatch. Or maybe that's... I don't know. This is the one. 12 bucks plus shipping on the Lost and Found sale. I'll put it in in a minute, but we'll add like... Uh, let's see. 12. We'll add like $10 to that. $3.19 so far out of $150. Alright, and we have an Inaman going off to Brian. So Brian, thank you so much. We hope he gets things moving for you. We have the Scream in a Man calendar excerpt, and that one is going off to Ron. And then the in a Man in a Woman, <laughs> Mona Lisa right there, is headed off to Melissa, and Melissa left us a note. Okay, Melissa says, Hi Kevin, my husband and I love watching, and watching your picking and flipping videos. We have learned a lot from you, and we enjoy your sense of humor. Um, I wish everybody did. I <laughs> The homeschool hustlers are adorable, and you get it gets me into trouble every once in a while. You know, being a teacher, and you know, I'm just trying to have good fun, you know, and sometimes I'm like, maybe I probably shouldn't have said that. You get us every time with the breaking glass sound effect, and this item will hang in our reselling work area and may add an anime to the shelf someday. Thanks for all that you and your family do. So thank you, Melissa, and thank you to your husband. Appreciate it. How you doing, Ray? Good. All right, got a couple of sales out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store. What do you got? Um, Eric got an Inman, Brian got an Inamog, and Rebecca got a Commonwealth Picker sticker. All right. That's awesome. Thank you. Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, same show. One day later. I forgot to shave. Let's take a look at what's sold. Here's an item that I, I probably shouldn't have bought it. It's really not worth my time, but I don't come across them very often for some reason. I gotta get these out of here. And do that spilling them up there you go <laughs> oh well close refrigerator dish pyrex and these with lids will go okay from time to time but this one didn't have a lid six dollars plus shipping on that one and i paid a dollar so not much profit vintage hobo strikes again this time for jeffrey and for jeffrey's movie collection and as turner calls them vgs's <laughs> can we play a vgs he says I don't know why you can't get that VHS. Left Behind, New Sealed, and Kickboxer. Classic, right there. Like it. So both of those, actually, I guess all three of those, even though that's the same sale. So two different sales right there. And these, I don't even know where. I think I got this one in that horror movie lot. It was kind of just thrown in there. I have no idea where these came from. Thank you again to the Vintage Hobo and Jeffrey. We hope you enjoy them. I think right around $23 shipped, I think, is the cost. Thank you. And I think the last sale from the We Found It In Her Underwear sale. <laughs> That's a dubious title. If you haven't seen that one, I'll try and put a picture of it right here. And this was a strange when in doubt parted outer, but I'm glad I did it. It is right here. 
parted out, it was incomplete. So it didn't have everything in it. They're pretty good if they're complete. But I decided to buy it for a buck anyway, sell off whatever pieces there were in there, sold them off in two different lots, and then sold the board and only the board, I think for $10 plus shipping. All right, that was $11 plus shipping. Next item, actually I'm just gonna do three at one time. They're different golf club head covers, but two of them came from Lost and Found Sale, and one of them I just picked up at Richard's place, Richard the Storage Guy, and that, that video is over there on Commonwealth Picker. Here it is, so these are the ones I picked up from Richard the Storage Guy. Grab these right here. I think off of a set of clubs that were pretty much worthless. And these are a Ben Hogan set. If you ever find this brown one, got this little badge design down here. There's a fourth one that goes to it, and it's got a Ben Hogan badge on it. And if you have the whole set, you can get like $30, $40 for it. But I didn't have that one, so I just sold them off. But I knew it was the Ben Hogan set, so I was at least able to list it that way. They had some folks out there that had them listed as brown, you know, vinyl, faux leather, whatever. And they would sell them, but they didn't have that Ben Hogan title. So I put that in there, and these got $20 plus shipping. The other ones went out, I think 10 that was maybe $11. This is $9 free ship for both, so not a huge amount of profit in here. I calculated it out to be about $8 profit between the two of those. Looking at that sale right there, that $8 in there brings us to $317. $317, so $167 profit so far on these. And we still have quite a bit left. Not so many of the small ones right here, but there are still a few in there. And this one's maybe full to about right here. Not to mention, we still have this right here. Whoop, I just lost Brett Favre. Brett Favre is a jet. <laughs> and this one is a Supreme sweatshirt. And it's the real deal, and I have not listed that one yet. I need to, though, pretty quick. Two more. One more thing that I picked up from Richard the Storage Guy, and I think it should be in the Montana van. This one sold really quickly. I put it out there, I thought it right at the right price. Not more than everybody and not less than everybody. And it sold, I think, within a day. And it is the, these didn't used to go for as much, but in today's educational environment, they definitely go for more. Magic math multiplication. This thing sold for $18. Don't pass these up, you see them all the time. $18 plus shipping. And believe it or not, this one went to Canada. So somebody out the door is paying $30. I don't even know what, 35 bucks, something like that. Last one is a set of books along the same lines right here. A uh, set that's, you know, kind of homeschoolish. And these, I think I picked, I think my wife picked these up at a sale. I can't be positive, but she got all the good stuff or something like that. If I can find that one, I'll attach it here. If I can't, then I won't. Right here, they are, should be Wilt. There it is right there, Wilt. You are, uh, you're all right. Joy Will, illustrations by Hergie. So there you go. There is obviously a set of these, but this is not a full set. The full set would go for good money. This is not, but it's still pretty good. They're in good shape, but they did take a while to sell because it's incomplete. $9 plus shipping, all pure profit because we made an absolute killing at that sale. I don't know what we have left because I can't remember what I filmed yesterday. So when I put this video together, you'll figure something out here. Maybe the kids, maybe a homeschool hustler sale. Maybe we've already done that. Maybe a CommonwealthPicker.com sale. But either way, we hope y'all are doing great out there. And thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time. All right, Turner, you made a bunch of sales today, buddy. Look at all yeah. this. Five different sales. That means I got to give you one, no, two, one, three, four. Two. Oh, three, four. four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you can count, huh? All right, but I, I can't give you a dollar for this because we didn't make three dollars. So you're going to get three dollars right there. Yep. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? No. Me and your mama bought this at a sale for 50 what? cents because we were trying to find an extra thing to throw it's a in there. Cardinal. Right, but he didn't make three dollars on it. We only sold uh, it for eight bucks. Hey, what did we see today? What kind of bird did we see? A bald eagle. Did you no really? No kidding, on the fence. Just Not right here? on the side of the road. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Awesome. Sorry. Okay. And your mom bought this too at the Goodwill for 50 cents. Sold together. And then this sold to Angie. So this is going to Angie and it's Mac. His name is Mac. All right. And the rest of them went to the Vintage Hobo. Again, they bought something from me and they said they were going to buy something from you too. So you're going to get a dollar to spend, a dollar to save, and a dollar to donate for each one of those things. Okay. And I can't remember the total price here. I think this is maybe 10. I think it's like 25 plus shipping for these three. It's a Barney. Did you ever watch Barney? 
I don't think you did, did you? But yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Bubba loved Barney. <laughs> Be my Valentine. Oh, buddy. I thought I thought this was this. Are you talking about this? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I watched that. Tell them thank you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to mention their names. Deborah and Jeffrey. Deborah and Jeffrey. Okay. Hi. Hey, and you know what? Somebody else sent you something. Ivan, yeah. your buddy Ivan sent you something. Ray, you want to help us with this? Where's it at? Ivan. Ivan is oh, oh, Ivan does spoil them for sure. Are you All right. Let me get this here. Oh, look at that. Kevin and crew, yeah. they're going to dig through, and I'm going to look at this. Just want to send you and the kids something to say thank you for all you do. Ivan, that is so kind of you. We appreciate Dad, it. This is for you. It's a license plate. And I'll read that. In oh, it's a license plate. License plate. It's something cool. Awesome. Where's the plate? Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, that is pretty cool. To Kevin from Santa Claus. <laughs> wait, that's from Santa Claus? This box is. All right. I can't wait. I know exactly where I'm going to put that, Ivan. Thank you. Oh. What y'all got? That's says to you. Oh, look at this here. Oh, it's my gosh. Wendy's what did you do? Cards. Wendy's, you oh, love us and Frosty. Mm -hmm. A mug? It's like a mug. It's a mug. It's a mug. All right. <laughs> look at that. That's cool. Can I see it? It says, teacher. I love kids. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take that to school, and I am going to use that every day. I love kids. I love kids. I love kids. I don't think Thank he's you. saying that truthfully. Do you turn? <laughs> His face looks a little strange. Turn, look. Look at that. What do you, what do you like at Wendy's? What's your favorite thing? Vanilla Frosty. What do you do what, with what them? What do you do with that? Uh... Put my chicken nuggets in it. <laughs> <laughs> Put the chicken nuggets in it, don't you? Okay. Yep. And I accidentally one time on Instagram took a picture of you doing that, and I put frosty nugs on there, and it came <laughs> up with a bunch of pot stuff. So I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Ivan. This is very, um, very kind of you. I yes. appreciate it. You want to say thanks to Ivan? Thank you. I just want to show you really quick a nice gift that was sent to us from Beverly Bailey, BB's Bargain Buys. And she said some really kind things. She said that since Reagan's selling her merch here, her Commonwealth picker stickers and all that, that she thought this license plate was uh, appropriate. So she's not here right now, Beverly, and I am going to show this to her. I know she will love it, and we'll find a great place for it. Thanks. Just want to mention this auction from Cards for Kids, Oregon. Gentleman that does some great stuff for some kids who have had surgeries and whatnot in the hospital. And we sent him some stuff, and he's got an auction up. It's these items right here, but it's also including one of the first edition mugs. And, of course, an Animan's in there as well. So if you all want to go over there and check that out, that would be very, very kind of you.